It's the fifth Music in the Park of the summer, and two local musicians are playing back to back Brian Hiley and Cindy Doucette. <laughs> Music in the Park was started last summer in Asuyus by three local music lovers, Janice St. Louis, Alan Blyken, and Rusty Copeland. They call themselves the Three Amigos. The free concerts are held every Friday night through July and August at Gyro Park. exceptionally well. We're sitting with about 150 people behind me right now. Um, we've averaged anywhere from 120 to just over 200 this year. That's at least double of last year's uh, output, so we're happy with that. It's about double. You oh, know, wow. last year, the first night, I think, was 60 people. Our first night this year was 200. That's so quite an improvement. We're, we're either 200 or more every week. So. And I understand that's because you're doing more marketing? I think that's the main reason. We're also... I think people are getting used to knowing it's every Friday night. The person you've been listening to is Brian Hiley, of whom we think quite highly. Ah, I've been, never heard that one before, I'm sure. Um, so it's a double header tonight. Cindy Doucette will be doing the last hour, so it's a real treat for tonight. When that fog St. Louis where the idea for music in the park came from. Well, I, I grew up in Vancouver and I always like to go to the concerts in the park there. You know, there's theater under the stars and different things like that. And uh, so I just, I was thinking about it for a couple of years and I finally decided to try and find a couple of other people who want to do it with me. And uh, Alan Blaken is, is one of our three amigos and he books all the music or most of the music at JoJo's. And Rusty Copeland, he's a musician himself, and he, uh, he does a lot of the bookings for the Legion. And I've been booking live music at the market for the last five years. So what's it been like working with the other two amigos? Uh, you know, I've never worked with um, male volunteers before. Usually it's a group of women that do activities, and, and they're very easy to get along with. You know, we just sort of, you, you want to do this, I'll do that. and Very easy going, and it, it's all sort of worked out. So you've been doing this as the three amigos. Uh, do you each kind of have a different role? Uh, yeah, Janice tells us what to do and we do it, basically. <laughs> uh, sort of, um, parts of it we work together. We all work together on finding the bands, uh, sort of pre-listening to them, um, agreeing on what we think is going to work here. Uh, but when we get here, um, my job as MC is maybe diminishing somewhat. We're letting other people do it. Uh, I'm sort of the bouncer guy. Uh, Rusty's the sound tech, he works with the bands getting set up, and Janice just points fingers at us and gets us going. <laughs> She's the head cheese. <laughs>
it's nice to keep music live, you know, yeah. and it's a free event and people can just wander down and, and sit and, uh, you know, pull up a blanket and have a drink and it's What great. kind of venues do you usually play? Oh, so normally I'm at like bars and clubs and that kind of thing. Um, but the music's always the same, you know, it doesn't really matter where you play. And in fact, it doesn't really matter. A lot of these songs that I play, like everywhere in the world, it seems to be the, yeah. uh, you know, everyone's uh, favorite things. And that's the great thing about music too, right? It sort of brings people together in that way on a night like this. And people can kind of come down and listen and they all enjoy the same music and everything. And yeah, it's great. It's a lot of fun. Do you get fun. different vibes off the crowd from uh, an event like this versus, uh, say, playing in a bar or something like that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's because... Uh, there's probably not a lot of alcohol down here versus the bars, but um, but no, it, it is kind of. I think I I feel anyway like it's a more kind of relaxed um, vibe, which is sort of nice, you know. Um, at least that's what I kind of like if I go to a live music thing, like a free thing in the park, and it's kind of relaxed and um, yeah, it's just sort of a nice, friendly vibe. So this is the second year for music in the park. What do you feel an event like this has done for Asuyas? I think it's great. I think that. Um, you know, it's nice to get people out of their homes and talk to their friends and neighbors and, you know, it's a town this size. Um, we interact with a lot of the same people all the time, sometimes in a business setting, and it's nice to just kind of see everybody out and enjoying themselves, you know, so yeah, it's great. Cindy Doucette had only been playing a short time when a storm suddenly moved in. Don't know where I've been so blue. Oh, don't know what. Hang on! It's coming through. When the weather. We have found someone new. After moving equipment to safety, she continued playing. Some people took shelter on the stage or at the concession, and others danced in the rain. Um, we, all, we all have a deep appreciation of a lot of um, kinds of music, and I think that's what makes it tick for us too as a threesome. We're, we're very compatible uh, personality-wise. And you've tried to mix it up too with a, a mix of people from Asuyas and Oliver and then people from maybe a little farther away up the valley in places. Uh, that's that's tell me right. about that. Okay, sort of two reasons. We want to keep it local because we want to support local artists. Uh, but beyond that too, we also need to branch out a bit to keep it interesting for the crowd. We don't want to wear out our local artists with continuing to perform and then pretty soon they won't have a venue either. So it's uh, a mix and match. And I think we want to keep bringing new acts in that, that uh, maybe from afar 
BC, maybe Alberta, on their way through. We want to keep it fresh for the audience and keep it fresh for ourselves. What, is, uh, what have the audience tended to like the most? What kinds of music? Uh, what well, our biggest crowds of, uh, I'm not sure if it's interesting or not, but our biggest crowds have been the big bands. Last year, the Naden Navy uh, band do over 300. This year, well, last, uh, last week, no, two weeks ago, we had the big band in here. And that was our biggest crowd this year, too. So people seem to like big band sounds. Maybe because we don't get much of it. That's the draw. It's we get a, a lot of folk music. Yeah. yeah, it's. I think that's it. And then also the our sort of senior population seem to appreciate that kind of music, as I do as well. It's a it's a nice sound. And is there a mix of ages that come out to these events? Um, we like watching little kids dance, and then we've got uh, yeah, I would say anywhere from from newborns to nine year olds. So it's great, and that's the whole intention. We don't want to address one crowd musically. We want to address everybody. So some weekends are going to be louder than the others, or as far as the type of music. Some will be quieter, but the point of it is we want music for everybody, not just for one, one genre of listening. There's a group coming this Friday, uh, Darlene Ketchum Quartet. Uh, they, she, does, she has a fabulous voice. She does jazz and gospel and, and R&B. And um, there's a young fellow from Penticton coming, Beamer Wiggly. He's 14, I believe now, and he's an up-and-coming star. He does country. And uh, local Rick Wood, who's got his own following here. And at uh, the very end, we'll have Rusty doing an hour and the entire Royal Canadian Navy Band, the Naden Band from Esquimalt. I'd originally just been able to book five of them, so our poster says it's just the five, but they, they emailed me a month ago and said they're all coming. They enjoyed it here so much last year. So. And uh, last year we had 300 out for that. That was the most popular event last year. That was year, the biggest it? one, yeah. Um, I think people just enjoy the variety of music, so to come out and do something really different would be maybe getting pretentious. I mean, we could do a kiss thing, I guess, put makeup on, and the hats are already goofy enough. I'm not wearing mine, but... <laughs> yeah, so no, I don't think we're trying to be really different. We just want to provide a service to the community that lives here and the community that uh, holidays here. This is Richard McGuire, Digital Editor with the Asuyas Times.